My name is uh, Thomas Davis. We farm here at uh, Riedegors Farm near Camarthen. Uh, my farm in partnership with my parents, Glyn and Myrtle. Um, we run a herd of Holstein cows, um, 325 of them, with another 230 or so followers. Um, cows are housed all year round. We're averaging today about 38 litres a cow. Cows averaging 38 litres need monitoring, I think. And it's a way I can keep an eye on things, really, without physically being have to be on the yard or on the farm. So we looked at these um, collars from Dairy Master just to have a little bit more accuracy and so the technician that comes in really knows when did that cow actually start to become bullying. Not just the fact there was no paint on her tail, was she just bullying and it started an hour ago or did she start 12 hours ago? We didn't know. That's the piece of information we didn't have. I think we were using too many straws of semen just on tail painting alone really. So we made this decision to go with these collars and I think it's been a good decision and I think the rumination side and the behaviour side of the collar was what I thought was just a bit of a bonus. But I'm not sure which one is the bonus or the other one. I think it's just as important as it gives just as much information for me because I leave the heat detection side of it. I don't even look at what cows are bullying anymore. I leave, the, leave my technician to look at that. I just watch behaviour and rumination of my pre-calving cows, fresh cows and just generally throughout the herd. And it's unbelievable to me really. I'm, the pattern we found with that uh, rumination. The caller gives you data with the rumination, telling how much time she spends eating and how much time she spends basically chewing a cud, or they call it ruminating. As a classic example, we see a cow that's calved, she's not firing, and you can look back on her history with the way she's eating and ruminating. But a week or so before she calved, she had a dip. So obviously there's something wrong with the management or something that we did to the pre-calving group that affected that cow. So we, we can keep an eye on these things and I think that maybe that will give us as much of an improvement in fertility as what the actual heat detection side of these collars will, I think. I'm not sure which will, will do the biggest improvement. We're also finding mastitis cows much quicker. It's like having a second person, like a cow came in the parlour the other day and you're looking at quarters a bit harsh, not down in milk, what's going on with her then? I finished milking, came up on my phone, this cow was uh, had a behaviour problem to show that this cow had stopped eating, stopped chewing. So I got this cow back in the parlour again and I treated that cow. I can't even really tell whether that cow never even came to a severe case of mastitis. But obviously she was fairly sick that afternoon. It's an excellent health monitor really. Which is good though, even better than a thermometer in every cow, in my opinion. Like our heat detection is bang on now. We, we, we've, we've, like the number of cows we're synchronising is hardly anything at the moment, which is unbelievable. I look at the app um, in detail, it only takes oof, 10 minutes in the morning after morning milking and then I get alerts on my phone, that, that comes in automatically about three times a day, I just have just a quick look, five minutes. I, I, I more or less self-taught myself with the app, it's very easy, very simple app, and that's all I do every morning, I look at the cows, I rank it in order, days in milk, as long as those, the, the graph on them is the way they're eating and ruminating is going upwards, I leave them to it and I'm happy with those cows. Uh, sometimes if there's a sick cow and I wonder if she's getting better, <laughs> it's quite bizarre really. I tend to look at the app and not the cow. If the rumination line is going northwards, well I know this cow is alright. Even though she might not look much better, you, I know she's eating more today than she did yesterday, so I know she's on the mend. You can also look on the app how they've changed over the last whatever days you want really, and you can see some cows creeping away from the main group and you can see there's an issue with these cows and they need looking at, even though they don't show clinical signs, you know there's something going wrong with them. It's a good way to manage and look at cows without actually physically walking through the shed and being with the cows really. And we can treat these cows before we see clinical signs of ketosis or acidosis or anything like that. With regards to uh, cost and the uh, return on investment, the cost of an empty cow is, is horrendous and you can't afford an empty, an empty cow. Like We've got to get these cows in calf and we've got to get every single animal in this shed milking and firing on all four, 365 days a day. She's got to be in the right position every single day of the year. The, the, the cost of these monitors to monitor that and make sure these cows are on the right track, well, it was, it was a no-brainer, really, to me. When we were doing our own I think we were running about 420 days. We went to, we had a tail painting service come in. We brought it down to about 400 days. But uh, we were using over three straws a cow. 3.2 straws, I think, we peaked at. That, that was worrying me a bit as far as cost, because we tend to use good, better quality semen, the more expensive semen, so that was a major cost to us. 
And there was also, even though it's 400 days coming, well, the range in the days but, uh, was a little too high. We had too many open cows at 200 days. I think I want to bring the range from the lowest to the highest calming index cow. I want to delay serving these cows to about 50 days, but I want to get them all served by 75 days. We all need a life, even though like, you can keep an eye on things. Um, and it's monitoring these transition cows. That, that it has a big role in that. I believe we need a collar on every cow. I'm, I'm of the opinion that every single dairy farm should have um, some kind of heat detection device on farm. Um, I think heat detection just by visual heat detection nowadays is, is not good enough really. We, there's, there's standards to be had and that's, you, you, don't, you can't find enough cows bullying and get enough cows pregnant just by visual heat detection. 